Good morning, my friends. Cheers to Friday. Is that something we do? Do we cheers with coffee? I've never done that before. It felt weird. Oh, yes. Look at that. The sky is starting to get bright over there. Exciting. The earth is still turning. That's good. Good news. All right, this here is our trailer for today. The back six are going to Altona. One on the kick up there is going to Blumenort. And the others are going to Winnipeg. I gotta do them in that order. Let's hook up, tie them down, let's get on the road. Someone else order a house. Delivery is delayed. All the boxes, all full of fun toys, are all delivered to their rightful places. And unfortunately, none of those rightful places were in my yard. We had to get a little dirty though. One of the deliveries we went to uh, was down a gravel road. And for some reason, you know, it's a sunny day out and it's been sunny the last couple of days. For some reason, the road was mud. Like someone had dumped water along it for about a mile. It wasn't like how they oil some gravel roads sometimes to keep the dust down. No, this was just like mud. It was so weird. It hasn't rained at all. But anyways, I had to go down that road. And I tried to go slow already. And look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know. You can't really tell the difference. But, but I can. I can tell the difference. Look at this. Now she needs a bath. Look at that along the frame there. Just straight mud. So that wasn't good. Whole trailer got filthy too. So I haven't heard what my uh, assignment will be this afternoon yet, but if there's nothing going on, which is not likely on a Friday, Fridays are usually very busy, but if for some whatever reason I got nothing to do this afternoon, I'm definitely gonna pull out the power washer and give this truck a bath. It, uh, it needs it. Shine up what I can shine anyways, right? That's what I always say. If it can shine, it will shine. It may not have many things to shine, but the things that can, will. Yeah, it's all dirty already. Yeah, we're fueling up here, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how much fuel I use this week. We went to Thief River Falls three times. We went up to Arburg. Uh, what else did we do? I went to Altona today. And we put on about 2,200 kilometers this week. And it's going to be interesting to see how much fuel I used. I was below a quarter tank already. All right, so we filled up one side. One tank. You see that? All right, let's do the other side and let's see. This is going to be one of the bigger fill-ups I've done recently. I might have maxed out the fuel card for the day. <laughs> I'm not quite full yet. I'm at uh, 750 liters, $990. I don't think I maxed it out. I'm not higher than that before, but it just stopped working. I might have sucked this whole card lock dry of diesel. <laughs> Something happened. It doesn't want to pump anymore. I'll try starting it again, see what happens. thirsty Peter what's going on over here hey okay well you know, I'll try again excuse me I wasn't finished I'd like some more please swipe here punch in my super secret password see if it'll give me some more I'm still thirsty excuse me no I don't have a I need to get my member's card out again. I forget where I put it. It's 
in storage somewhere at home. Filling up my tractor. It's asking me all kinds of questions here. What's your favorite color? When's your birthday? There, a secret number. There you go. You gonna give me some more? I filled up for more than this before. It's only 750 liters. I filled up for over a thousand dollars before. Is it gonna tell me my fuel card's maxed out for the day? No, no, this is remove nozzle to fuel truck diesel. Okay, all right, let's begin fueling. Maybe there's no more fuel to fuel with. Come on, fine, Jay. Give me some fuel. Let's see. Oh, let's put this uh, put this cart away where it's safe. All right. Oh. Oh, no, it's giving me more. Well, why did you stop then before? I'm confused. This thing's dirty too around here. It needs a really good wash and shine. This truck won't shine very much. Uh, it's it's an old truck, right? It's a, I think it was 2006. Uh, it's old. Even if I were to polish this up, uh, there there is no way to make it shine again. It would have to be uh, refurbished. Which who knows, maybe they'll, maybe they will, maybe they won't. I mean, it's a work truck, right? It's a work truck and it does the job great. But, uh, Passes the safeties and uh, still running good. It's still a good truck. Alrighty, let's hang her up and let's see what what we came up with here. This get that nozzle up. There you go. So there's an extra 90 liters. So what were we at before? 750 liters. So 750, 830 liters we got today. And it was at $880, right? No, $990? I'll have to look back in the video. It was that plus $119. So it was over $1,000 today. That uh, was for this last week. And we did do a lot of driving this week. So it's, uh, well, I guess I better close this. She may be dirty, but she still works better when you close up her fuel tanks. Uh, so, uh, We've driven, oh yeah, 2,290 kilometers this week. Two, 2,200, no, 2,221. Why can't I talk? I can't talk. Oh, there's a cop over there radaring people. You see him? He's right there. He's right there. If we wait here long enough, I bet we'll see him get someone. <laughs> It's always funny watching other people get pulled over for speeding, but it's never as funny when it's you, right? I haven't gotten a, a ticket in over 10 years, over 15 years, I think. It's been a long time. My driver's abstract and my driving record is squeaky clean. Uh, when you get a ticket, it stays on your driver's abstract here for five years. So it's been a long time since I've had anything on there. I had a couple speeding tickets when I was young and dumb. Don't be like me, guys. If you're young, if you're a teenager, uh, I got my urge to speed, I think, when I was younger. Uh, it's not like I was... Look, I can blame any one thing. I was just young and dumb. I could blame video games, but uh, they didn't make me speed. I chose to at the time. And I paid the price for it. And... Uh, that's long gone, long gone in my record. That's a long time ago. So my best advice to all you youngsters out there who want to be a truck driver like me. Best advice, when you get into your car, drive responsibly, drive nice. Don't speed, obey all the laws, and keep your driving record clean. Because trucking companies will look at that. Okay, and if... I don't know how it works where you are, but around here, it stays on your record for five years. That's a long time to wait for something to clear off, right? So you want to just make sure you stay out of that trouble. And if you, you play video games like Need for Speed, I love those games too. I play them. And they make you want to speed. Just remember, leave it in the game. Okay, I, I, I don't believe that video games make people do bad things. I think people make people do bad things. Like... It was your choice to do 
something bad. It was my choice to go too fast when I was younger, right? But you have to remember, just leave it in the game. When you're out on public roads, drive responsibly, drive nice. That's my best advice I can give to you. Keep your driving record clean. No speeding tickets, no at-fault accidents. Just be careful. Leave a little earlier. Don't be in a rush. Keep your head up, keep your phone down. Wear your seatbelt. Do all the things to, that you need to to be a good boy or a good girl so that the cops don't pull you over because that can really mess up your chances of getting a good trucking job for a long time. He's still sitting right over there. He's watching for you. Is he going to catch you? What? <laughs> Thanks for watching today, everybody. Hey, it was a good Friday, and I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed your weekend. Uh, this video got out uh, released a little bit later than, than usual. I've had a really busy week. It's been uh, uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm sure you can understand your week was probably just as busy. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.